What's going on everybody, Kweku here, back with another video. Today I have for you a different take on the app reviews, this time stepping away again from the Microsoft Store and digging into what you can actually get on your PC as a whole. I'm taking a look at Ubisoft Connect, or in some other places it's just called Uplay. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at it. This Ubisoft Connect is essentially, obviously from the company Ubisoft, um, and it allows you, it's basically a game launcher slash store slash everything else, just like the Rockstar Games launcher, just like Steam, just like everything else out there right now that everything requires a launcher. This is another one of those things. Now, before I even dig into this, I will just say that one thing that annoys me about this launcher is that I have Assassin's Creed Valhalla and a whole bunch of other games from Ubisoft, or just two other games from Ubisoft, really. And um, even when you download those games from, say, Epic Games Store, let's say Steam or whatever it is, it still requires you to have this launcher as well in order to launch it, in order to activate your game. If you delete this launcher, even though you bought the game on Steam or at Epic Games Store, your games will not work. And it's very frustrating to know that. Um, another thing is when you're offline and you're trying to access your games, uh, the one thing you have to do is you have to make sure before you go offline that you're online uh, to activate it, like I think about one time before you can access your games. Otherwise, your games will not work. It's that DRM that we deal with, digital rights management. So here's what it is. So we got the tabs up above. So up above, we see here, this is a menu button. You can activate settings, downloads, and so on. Uh, and then you got your news game store, Ubisoft Plus, which is their little subscription service to get access to their games um, without having to pay for each individual game. And then you got this little promotion that's there temporarily that just lets you uh, play Rainbow Six Siege uh, for free for a week, which means it ends in like three days for me. Um, going over here, then we got chat, friends and groups, wish list, shopping cart, and then my profile here. Dropping down the profile, we got the usual options here where you can pick yourself to look offline, do not disturb away, invisible, get the payment stuff, all the logout stuff. And then you got your Ubisoft wallet. And then this is an interesting one because it's kind of like you just fund your wallet. Uh, let's say you have kids, uh, you can fund their wallet and that way they can buy games on Ubisoft Connect without needing a credit card, which is pretty dope. I get it, but I never use this thing, but I guess that's just me. So let's go back. Let's go back to news. So this is the home page essentially that you'll end up on when you first install this client. Um, another thing that's really weird, I don't know if I'll be able to capture it in time for the video, but uh, when I'm first opening up this application, um, there's a good chance that I have to enter my login, my username and password uh, every single time. Um, like every time, even when I check off uh, that I want it to remember, it still sometimes is confused and it makes me type in everything over and over again. That's really annoying. Second thing that's really annoying about this launcher is just that uh, when I hit login after I've typed in my username and password hundreds of times, uh, then it wants me, it brings up the user account control uh, thing prompt and it makes you have to press OK on that thing like three or four times before the launcher will actually launch. Again, very annoying. Don't know why it's doing that. So that those are the things. This launcher obviously frustrates me, but got to look at it anyway. Got to get the word out about the launcher. So basic news tab, you got your news, basic stuff. Uh, talking about Mario and Rabbids and blah, 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 you know, your usual news stuff. You can click on any article, let's say The Settler. You can see news articles for it. Nice thing about this, though, is that it doesn't take you uh, into their website. It just takes you here. My question is, can I hit Control and can I zoom with it? No, you cannot. Can I hit Control Plus to zoom in? No, you cannot. So you don't zoom in. This doesn't feel like a web app, even though it is, to me, a web app. Um, very much could be just embedded, and that's it. Uh, just privately embedded but overall it looks good it's clean it's very straightforward to deal with uh, one thing I do wish that they would do here like this article for example is I know some people don't like this but I wish that if you're talking about the settler as a game right maybe provide some way to actually if I'm interested in this article and I want to check out the game maybe provide a way for you to click into the game uh, or to click to go to the store on their you know Ubisoft store to buy the game or to check out the game. Maybe provide that kind of thing, uh, that kind of detail to it. So that's that's another thing that I, I kind of wish that they did. And that's the recurring theme for a lot of these launchers that I'll look at in the future is they don't really provide easy access links when they're talking about things. So we see Assassin's Creed, or Fallout, Fallout 3, and Elden Rings generations. Again, I know it's just an article, but to take journalism to the next step, 
I really wish that they would, if you're talking about a specific game, provide a way to view that game um, in your store, um, in the article, just so that way it's seamless. Going over to games. These are the games here that I own. Um, I don't really buy many games from Ubisoft ever. These are mainly, every game I bought here, I either redeemed the code or I bought it off of like Epic Game Store or Steam or whatever it is. So Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Valhalla and even Crew 2. I think I activated Crew 2 with just the code that I went over to this menu here and activated a key and then I popped it in and it populated it. That's why I have the Crew 2. Uh, Valhalla and Odyssey, these are over here in the Epic Games Launcher, but when you click on it in the Epic Games Launcher, um, it opens up this launcher or once you install this launcher and then you gotta launch it from here because what I found out is that if I open it up in the Epic Games Launcher and try to launch the game, uh, the game will not ever launch. It'll tell me to re-log in to Ubisoft Connect um, even though I'm already logged in. It'll just bring up some error. It's been like that for like six months. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, going on further, we have here uh, just all the kinds of games you can possibly have, the free games that I've clicked on and so on and so forth. So I'm going to do a quick example of just how downloading looks like in this launcher. Um, let's say we're going to do, let's just say we're going to do the, we're going to do Uno. Okay. So this is the, this is the game page for Uno. Uh, it says core challenges and stuff are currently unavailable. Let me just show you through the game page. You got your challenges, rewards, so I can go download game music pack. Um, that stuff, properties, support, and so on, unlock a test version. Let's just hit download. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so you see that right there. Uh, you probably can't see it too well, but I hit download. It wants to open it up in Steam to download. Uh, meanwhile, when you launch it in Steam, it's going to require you to have Ubisoft Connect open. You can't just download it from Steam and then open it only from Steam without Ubisoft Connect opening. You need two programs open, which sucks. Uh, but that's essentially what it's going to be. It's just going to be a Steam download, and when it's done, it'll populate just like over here, uh, up above here, and it'll add itself right here. It's kind of annoying, it's kind of stupid, but what can you do? Next thing, we're going to look at games that have a lot of DLC. So like, you know Assassin's Creed Valhalla has a ton of DLC, and it's got a little bit more extra options in it too. So last night I downloaded a 28 gigabyte update um, before I could even do anything. It doesn't I don't believe it has any kind of background updating, which is really annoying too, because I had to wait for a while for this thing to finish. Um, but you got your game news, rewards, challenges, the same things. In fact, I'll click that just so you can see that I claimed it. Um, you got rewards, buy things with Ubisoft points or whatever it is. So another currency, it's kind of like a mobile game in a way, but it's not. Um, you got Ubisoft points on your Ubisoft launcher, and then you got Ubisoft wallet for cash stuff. I kind of wish you could just buy this stuff with cash instead of having to redeem, buy cash and then always have a little bit of Ubisoft points left over, whatever. You got SharePlay. SharePlay is pretty dope. Uh, basically, what that allows you to do is it allows you to uh, stream whatever's on your Ubisoft launcher to your phone or iPad, whatever you choose, Android tablet. It's pretty cool, or even another computer. Um, I do not use it at all, but it works pretty decently well. I gotta say though, the one application I would definitely say to use over SharePlay would most likely just be using Parsec, which I'll demo in a later video. Statistics, it just tells you what kind of things you've accomplished. I clearly played the game way too much to have 315,000 um, distance, whatever unit they're talking about. Uh, traveled achievements store so store is what I'm talking about that's gonna tell you all the DLC stuff if it even loads it doesn't look like it even wants to load I guess they don't want me to buy anything and then this tells you the basic information for properties of uh, where you are like where things are installed at but I'm trying to go to store it doesn't look like store even wants to load I'm not sure why I told you this game this uh, launcher has some jankiness let's try out I don't know this one here and then okay so store is not an option on odyssey uh what about the crew 2 does crew 2 have a store no it does not what about origins does origins have store it does not either so valhalla seems to be the only one that has a store but i can't load the store out of the games i own which is weird uh what about far cry 6 far cry 6 i know has a store can't do that so in order to view store we're gonna have to click the store tab and do it like the old school way click it separately all right, now we're in the store. I guess I'll talk about the store tab. Store tab is basically Ubisoft's website. Um, it pretty much looks and feels like it with a little skin over it. Just It's not a separate web browser. I'm pretty sure it's just a website. Uh, you cannot zoom in because it's just software that did this. So now what I'm going to do is go to something like Assassin's Creed Valhalla. 
Okay, now you get the options that it should have popped up in the first place. Of course, they have a ton of options. This is not a, a thing about Valhalla, but let's say we want the complete edition. Um, that's that, or you can go back to standard. Going further down, that's about it. It says uh, you can buy this with, uh, if you get Ubisoft Plus, you can play this anytime for that price. What about complete edition? It says starting at that included with 100 games. So I guess you get complete edition with Ubisoft Plus, which is pretty nice. Uh, store is just their website. I'm not going to really click in too much. I'll just click on like Assassin's Creed uh, and then let's check it off by Valhalla. You've probably already been to their website before if you're looking at this. Yep, that's store. And then Ubisoft Plus. Definitely not paying for Ubisoft Plus ever just because, uh, one, uh, I have Game Pass, so I don't really need Ubisoft Plus. And two, the three games that I played from Ubisoft, uh, I already paid for, so I don't really need that. But the nice thing is Ubisoft Plus includes cloud gaming which will be a nice thing to test if it will actually work. So there you go. You got Cloud Gaming. It says with Amazon Luna and Stadia. Um, so I'm guessing it uses that as a back end in order to do it, which is pretty nice. That means it should be pretty smooth. Yeah, it says the Stadia right, Stadia right there. Yeah, fun fact too. Uh, I heard some rumors that Ubisoft could be purchased uh, by something like Amazon or someone else, which is interesting as well. But other than that, there's not too much um, on this launcher. You got your chats. I never actually chat in this launcher at all click yeah there we go uh there we go it's a little slow i don't know why but you got your chats as well ubisoft connect chat uh if you have friends i don't have friends uh you can use ubisoft connect chat or if you just want to keep your life simple you just simply use uh discord you can click x right there i'm not sure what is actually loading right now but there we go and then you got your social right here all right so you got your social slash friends and stuff here friend suggestions people who are offline for the purpose of pri their privacy i'm not going to show that but there we go and then you got your shopping cart if you actually use this thing to shop um then you got your shopping cart there but other than that that's pretty much it for ubisoft connect i did notice that when i was on ubisoft plus's tab and i went to the cloud gaming area here it brought it kicked up my pc's fans like crazy and it started making everything slow as you can tell there's a delay now just like that you see how slow it's getting and then the moment i go back to news now things are smooth again so there's something wrong with the ubisoft plus tab with the cloud gaming area it makes everything very slow but that's about it so yeah i know it was a pretty extended video but that's it you know this channel how it works i go deep inside a uh, particular piece of software or hardware and just try to pull everything I can get out of it. And that one for this one was Ubisoft Connect, uh, which used to be called Uplay. Um, it's an application. It's very annoying uh, and has a lot of bugs. They still need to fix it, but it's Ubisoft. What do you expect? My name is Kwaku. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get you guys in the next one. And let me know what you guys think um, about all these game launchers that you got to use on your computer that's the question of the day are they terrible or do you like them let me know in the comment section below